and I'm playing Sergeant Chris Anders. I'm Liam A. Snedden and I'm playing Tanya Young. I'm Nick Bright and I'm playing Sergeant Stephen Hughes. I'm Ben Hodges and I'm playing Private John Henderson. Okay, so tell us what the challenges have been playing these roles. Well, where do you want to start? <laughs> <laughs> I think the mental health aspect. I would say the post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a very real situation for real people. So we have a lot of responsibility to, to deliver that for them, I would say. Yeah, I think this play is a lot different. Like, it's not just about being in the army, it's about the effects of what happens there and also when you come back home as well. Yeah. Yeah. Have you had to do a lot of research? Uh, yeah, we've done a lot of research on we've, we've watched a lot of YouTube. Yeah. Uh, luckily, the writer um, of the play, she uh, did um, like a radio play called Afghanida, and that uh, really did uh, help with mm. getting into character and yeah. backstories and things like that. Okay, so what is the story? Wow. Right. Okay. Yeah. Where should we start? Yeah. So, well, it's done in parts. It's done in parts. We we each have a section, an interview. And it's kind of an account of that person's story. So it's not until you're at the end of the play where the actual plot begins to make sense, because we repeat a lot of the a lot of the scenes. And um, so maybe we should do it from each other's perspective yeah. for that one. Do you want to start? I mean, it doesn't take place in chronological order. We start off with one character's side, and as we move on to each other character's side, we see it interlocking, being like pop fiction in some way. Yeah. Doing that way. Okay. So your story. My character is mainly sort of like the backdrop who looks after and sees into everyone else's situation. He doesn't really have a main story arc. He's more like the sub support. support you get, yeah. Yeah, I'd say that you're the one and only thing that remains concrete in this, mm. I would say. And obviously you're the only girl. Yeah. So... Yeah, so obviously being female in the infantry, so it's very much about how she has to hold her own in that environment and the relationships between her and the sergeant and the, the private and it's how she, she is very much cut off from it all, she is very much burnt and um, she is suffering from a bad accident that where she, something happened to her on her last tour and she can't forgive herself, she's living with a lot of guilt and I think the guilt is what eats my character up all the time. Mm. And it plays back on how she, she's very independent, but she ends up, I won't say leaning on the other characters. She falls into the trap of the routine of how you cope when you're in that sort of environment. I think they find solace in each other. But my character doesn't find solace in a peaceful way. It's in a toxic, mm. toxic way, isn't it? So are you, Especially you are, with you. You are interacting with each other. Yeah. yeah, so we all have our own accounts, uh, we're being interviewed, so we all have our own accounts and then the actual scenes are flashbacks of what happened, yeah. but in each other's view, if you know what I mean. Uh, my character is the sergeant of the platoon, so I'm sort of in charge of the group, and I think uh, my character has a lot of demons to fight, and one of them is that he has to make the decisions, uh, and he wants to do right by his group, but that doesn't necessarily always turn out the right thing to do. <laughs> My character is fresh faced, naive, straight out of a small village in Canada and he has no idea how things work there and then very quickly he learns how it really is and by then he's already sort of, he's already um, damaged. Yeah, he's already yeah. injured. I think our, our character very much, we're very damaged, we're very used to it, we, we've seen terrible things together and we've pulled through together, but then Johnny comes along and he's a newbie, it's like he has no idea what it's really like and there's almost a little bit of resentment, I would say, at points, but then I think, especially for my character, you're very lovey-dovey, aren't you? Mm. You get a bit lovey-dovey and it doesn't precipitate with my character at all. So talking of lovey-dovey, is it quite a strong... There is a lot of sex. Okay, that's what I was... <laughs> 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 you say, say a lot. So no, 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 no. Um, it's, that's a bit of a, a departure it's, from the usual Indus bar. Yeah, it's production. a feature, mainly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, definitely. It's Maybe not what the butler saw, but... <laughs> so that must be... Is that a challenge? Has it been a challenge? Oh, I think... Exactly, we've, we've known each other for 
for a long time and you kind of come into this experience trusting each other and having that comfortable I guess they were chemistry is that right yeah. comfortable yeah. chemistry to be able to pull that off because if you're going to do something like that you can't half do it you've either got to commit to it and do it mm. or don't because it's a real situation isn't it it happens so is that made easier or more difficult by the fact that you're being directed by your husband do you want yeah. the honest truth to that question yes. it's easy because oh god how do I say no because I I support the director Ben as my husband he's two different men to me he'll be my husband at home when he's here he's my director and it just, he, he wants to get it right just as much as I want to get it right. I kind of owe him to get the sex scenes right because it will fall on him if it's not right. It, it does get a bit weird when the director's <laughs> telling you to kiss his wife more. <laughs> Any comment? <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> no, he, he's actually, he, he's, Ben is an actor himself before being a director, so he knows what it requires and you have to just commit to that and do it. <laughs> Okay, so um, it's all quite serious so far. Um, are there any fun aspects to the play? They have a bit of banter, I think. Yeah, there is, there is, there is quite a bit of banter. Yeah, yeah, I think especially the way they talk to each other. It's like in a different language because that being in the military, I think you've got to be quite... You either laugh or you cry. So I think their way of coping with it is they do have high moments where they're taking yeah. the mick out of each other constantly and... That sort of thing. That sort of defence mechanism say. comes up where you kind of laugh over the pain and everything just to keep spirits up really more than anything. Yeah, it, it's a hard play to do, but yeah. there are. There's de- there has there are breaks. Yeah, definitely has there moments. are breaks, yeah. definitely. Mm. Okay, and what are you looking forward to most in show week? Oh, the guns. <laughs> 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 I think getting the response. Yeah. It'll be really interesting. Uh, getting an audience, yeah. I, th- I think, like you said, it's something different that South End, in general, hasn't necessarily seen. So I think uh, to be one of the first groups to do that is definitely exciting. I think people who know us as well as actors, it'll be interesting to see how they interpret our working relationships, actually. And hopefully get some shock value out of We might get some shock, yeah. I think especially for my character, because I'm like getting it on with everyone. But that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs>